This video was brought to you by Indently.io, learning Python made simple. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can install Python so that you can use it with your code editors later on when you start learning how to program. The very first step is to go to python.org. And this is the only place I actually recommend you ever download Python from because it's the official source and contains everything you need to know regarding Python. If you download it from any website that asks you to pay for it, it's most probably or most certainly going to be a scam. So make your way to python.org, it's completely free, and then go to the download section where you can find the latest version of Python for your operating system. Then just tap on it because that will commence the download process. Now that we've downloaded Python, try to find your downloads folder and tap on the package that you've downloaded. And on Windows, this might be an XE. I don't really know what it looks like on Windows, but it's going to be something super similar. But tap on that to start the installation process. And then you need to go through the terms and conditions. You should probably read this information because it might contain something important. And you want to accept that license after you've read it, of course, since we all read this stuff. Then it's going to warn you that it's going to take this much memory on your computer and all that's left to do is to tap on install and if you have a password enter the password and wait for it to finish the installation process and once it has finished downloading you should end up with a folder such as this one that contains some documents an idle and a python launcher and to test that python has been installed correctly just double tap on the idle and inside here you can try interacting with it Something very simple you can do if you don't know how to use Python yet is some simple math operation such as 10 plus 10. And if that returns to you a result, it means Python has been configured correctly. Otherwise, you can also try one of the most simple commands in the world, which is a print statement. And all you have to do is type in print, add some parentheses, add double quotation marks and insert your important message such as hello, Bob. And if that returns the message that you tried to print, then you're on the right page. You have successfully installed Python on your computer. The next step, of course, is to decide on which code editor you want to use, whether it's going to be Visual Studio Code or PyCharm or Vim, that's up to you now. If you're just getting started with Python, I recommend PyCharm. I'm not affiliated in any way with PyCharm, but it's just what I use every day. And I think it's the easiest code editor or IDE for getting started with programming in Python.